Hello, I'm Frank Jackson. I'm a gastroenterologist. Prebiotics and probiotics. Most people don't know the difference. When we see the word prebiotic, we may assume it is a misspelling of the word probiotic. But the word prebiotic is different from probiotic and it's very, very important. The human colon is a real health organ, believe it or not. Yes, it is a way station for the waste that the body does not want and that is eventually passed. However, there are over a thousand separate bacterial species living in your colon. The total numbers of bacteria reach the tens of billions, more than 10 times the number of cells in the entire body. The colon is where both prebiotics and probiotics both end up. These bacteria, when we treat them right, do some amazing things for our health. 10 to 20 health benefits that we already know about. Most of us have heard of probiotics. They are advertised everywhere. They are the bacteria in yogurt, sauerkraut, and many other fermented foods. They are also available in pill or capsule form. Prebiotics, on the other hand, are present only in plants, mostly vegetables. These plant fibers go through the small intestine unchanged. In the large bowel, they find a nice, warm, moist home. Now, the major difference between a probiotic and a prebiotic is what happens in the colon. When you add, say, five to 10 billion probiotic organisms to the gut, that sounds like a lot, but it really is a very small number, way less than 1% of the bacterial organisms already there, literally a drop in the bucket of bacteria. They are fighting an uphill battle to find a home for themselves and to reproduce in large numbers. On the other hand, a prebiotic acts like a rich fertilizer that selects to enrich only the good bacteria already there. And enrich them, they do. These good bacteria grow very quickly, doubling in number every 20 minutes to numbers far greater than you could ever consume with a probiotic. Prebiotics are present in certain plant foods, such as asparagus, leeks, yams, and others. Go to my website at jacksongi.com for a complete list. However, prebiotics are also available as supplements. One is called oligofructose. This small molecule is acted on very quickly in the bacteria on the right side of the colon. Inulin, on the other hand, is a larger molecule and is fermented more slowly throughout the left side of the colon. That is why I put both these together in our patented prebiotin products. It is a full spectrum prebiotic acting throughout the colon. So what health benefits can you expect from prebiotics? I will get into each of them in subsequent videos, but let me just list some of them now. Better regularity, improved immune function, vitamin production, better energy, less leaky gut, more calcium absorption, improved bone density, less inflammation in the body and gut, less appetite, part of a weight loss program, and many more. Prebiotics are simply better than probiotics, and our prebiotin prebiotic supplement is your best bet for a new gut. I wish you a healthy digestive system from your good gut friend, Frank Jackson.